Allergy season is upon us, y'all. If I sound stuffy, I had a cold a little while ago. Now it's just full on, full blown allergies that I'm dealing with. Ooh, buddy, if you suffer like I do, I'm here with you. We can hold hands. Allergy season is awful. All right, so today I bring you Amazon favorites. I do these every few months. The last one I did, I was just checking, was Christmas time. I'm like, whoa. But I was looking at what I mentioned because I try not to repeat anything. Those were freaking great recommendations. Those are my favorites. I wanted to repeat a bunch that was in there and I didn't. I took them off my list because I've already mentioned them there. So definitely check that video out. I've done, like I said, I do these every few months. So I have a whole playlist. If you want to hear about more of my Amazon favorites, I stand by all of them. And I have an Amazon storefront, which is basically just one single link in my description box that you can go to and it will take you to all of my favorites from Amazon. It's an Amazon link, like it takes you to actual Amazon, duh. What am I talking about? Anyway, but it's organized by category. So if you wanna see all of my favorites from the years, they're all there. So that was a really weird way, <laughs> way to explain what that was. Anyway, let's dive in. All right, let's start with beauty items. And I feel like I should scooch over so we can like pop them right over here. So beauty items, the first thing I wanted to talk about are these, these are actually the new thing I've gotten bought from Amazon these rhinestone hair clips so I really like when I'm getting ready to use like little hair clips that are creaseless although like if you're my hair today it wouldn't matter it's all creased <laughs> creases everywhere but creaseless hair clips that you can kind of pull your hair back but these are so cute and the craziest thing is when I bought them just like a week or so ago well a couple weeks ago I thought they'd be kind of cheap feeling but they were really cute so I'm like well that's fine as long as they get the job done I wanted some new cute ones well I got them in the mail and they're like heftier and nicer than I ever expected and each one of them it came with four each one of them was like separately wrapped in a little baggie which was I thought overkill but regardless they're really well made I was I was surprised so and I also just spit everywhere and I can't spit without thinking about when I used to teach and my poor kids that I used to like spit on you know what I mean oh boy this video is off the rails so Love those hair clips. They're so cute. I just love them. And they're so much nicer than I expected. Quick shout out to two new palettes in my life. They're from Wet n Wild. And I'm mentioning them here because I have found it very difficult to find these in store. And I know a lot of you guys have found it difficult to find too. But they have new palettes. There's the Always Naked palette and the Always Blushin palette. The Always Naked one is definitely my favorite. It's the one I've used the most. It's also the one I ordered sooner, so I've just had it longer. But these are amazing quality for, I think, a pretty darn low price and a really good like range of shade options. So wanted to give it a little shout out. I've talked about it a lot in other videos, so I'm not gonna like beat a dead horse here, but those are awesome and they are available on Amazon. Okay, this cleansing balm I got on Amazon a few months ago and the brand is AOA, which is like a pretty big, very inexpensive brand you can order from their site. And this is one of two products from this brand I'm gonna mention, but their cleansing balm is really good. If you're like me, I will go in with a cleansing balm on my dry face to kind of break up all the makeup. <sighs> That rhymes. Uh, and then I'll go in with a cleanser after that. It's called a double cleanse. I know, I, 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 let me, I need to take a few steps back. If you are used to watching my videos, I always feel weird when I'm filming a video like this one because I feel like a lot of new viewers watch that. So hi, if you're new, I'm Jessica. Welcome on in. The water's fine. I hope you'll subscribe. But I feel like I talk differently in videos like this because I feel like I need to over explain. And so a lot of you guys watching that watch all my other videos, I feel like I'm, not talking to you. <laughs> no, I am, I am, I am. But I guess my point is I explain things maybe a little bit more so than I would in other like maybe beauty videos and stuff because I know a lot of those videos. A lot of you guys watch like it's my normal viewers. So that's why if you feel like I'm being weird, it's because I am. Okay, so I was about to explain what a double cleanse is, but I think most of you guys know what that is. But yeah, I love this cleansing balm. It's like no fragrance. I don't know if it's technically fragrance free, but I don't detect a certain scent or anything. It gets the job done. I think if I were only using that for some reason and not going in with the cleanser, it wouldn't get the whole job done, but really I don't know what cleansing balm would. I always go in with another cleanser. But anyway, I really like it and would recommend it. I'll definitely be repurchasing it. Ooh, we got a lot to get through, Jesse. All right, so my favorite beauty sponges are sold on Amazon. Again, this is the other AOA product I was gonna mention. They are the paw, it's Shop Miss A. Wait a minute, is that the same thing? I always thought it was. Maybe 
it's not. I think it is. Or is it that Shop Miss A sells AOA products? Oh boy, you guys educate me in the in the comments because I don't, I'm now realizing I don't know. I thought they were one and the same. Maybe they are. Anyway, these are my favorite beauty sponges. I have not bought any other brand of sponges since discovering these and they're so cheap. They're like $1.50 each. I get this six pack on Amazon because it's convenient and fast. I think it's technically a little bit cheaper if you were to buy it from the Shop Miss A site, but then you have to wait on shipping. So for me, I'm like, I'd rather just pay a dollar or two more and get it really quickly. So love these. They are my favorite. They're what I use every day to put on my foundation and I've never looked back since discovering them. And then my favorite cuticle oil is from, I actually have it in my nightstand, which is right here, hold on. This is from the brand Cuccio and they have, so they have larger ones. I just don't go through it fast enough to need like a big, big daddy one. But this is the milk and honey scent. They have a lot of different scents. This is, I'm just a milk and honey smell type of person. But I also want to try the almond one because I love the smell of almond, but they have a lot of different scents. I just really like this cuticle oil. I feel, I'm going to put some on now. I feel like it does a great job. I've tried a weird amount of cuticle oils. And when I asked my nail tech what he recommends, he was like, they're all the same. I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's not the answer I wanted. I wanted a specific one. But he said, if you're, if he's having to pick, if I remember right, this is the one he recommended. Now that I'm saying this all out loud, is this what they use in the salon? I don't even know. I'll have to check. Regardless, I really, really like it. It gets the job done and it smells amazing. There's this one I bought a while ago and it was some random brand. I couldn't even tell you what it is. And it smelled like the roller. Well, I'm going to say the roller cave because that's what it's called where I live. It smelled like a roller rink. Why do those have a certain smell? It's like feet mixed with popcorn mixed with like old memories. <laughs> But that's what that smelled like. I still have it, I think, at the workspace. I need, to, I need to get rid of it. It smells so weird. All right, let's dive into clothing and accessories, things like that. So first up is probably my favorite clothing purchase. Should I say that I've ever made on Amazon? It's up there, like top five. And it is this dress right here. I have it in two colors. I'd actually wanted it in the pink, but it wasn't going to be here in time for what I was going to be wearing it for initially. And so I bought it in another shade and then the pink one came in quickly anyway, so it didn't matter. So now I have it in two colors, but I'm not mad about it. And you know what? This I, dress I was wearing postpartum, like a week or two postpartum, and it fit so well and I felt so comfortable in it. And now, I mean, I'm still postpartum. I just love it. I wore it for our newborn photo shoot. We were getting some family photos with our two girls. It's still crazy to say. And I, again, I felt so comfortable in it and I felt pretty in it. I love it. And my husband was very complimentary of it. And he's, he's like, I'm really glad you have that in two colors because I really like it. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> All right, this quarter zip, I've gotten so many questions about. I think I was wearing it in like an Instagram story. And it was a weird amount of <laughs> people asking where it was from. It's from Amazon. And this is one of those, they have a lot of colors. I also have it in two colors. <laughs> I know I get heat for like buying the same thing in multiple colors, but I'm one of those people that if I find something I really, really like, I want multiples of it because I, you know, if it's not clean, I'm like, dang it. So then I have another shade to wear. So I know some of you guys make fun of me for it, but whatever, man, if you like something, what's wrong with that? So I have it in white and then the light green and it is the perfect like comfy shirt. I could wear it out when I'm running errands. I wear it in the backyard like we're having a bonfire. I just wear it in everyday life. It's great with leggings. It's a little bit longer as well, which I think is really comfy, especially if you are wearing it with leggings. But 10 out of 10, it's looser. I sized up, but I don't think you necessarily have to, but I sizing up, I just like in shirts like that because then it's even more like comfy and loose and you just don't have to think about it. Another shirt that I've gotten a lot of questions about is this hot pink zippered hoodie that I have. I honestly bought it just because it was nursing friendly and I needed stuff that I could unzip and be able to nurse. And so I was kind of looking into just zipper hoodies and I loved how this one was bright, bright pink. Not quite fluorescent, but it is borderline and I love it. And you guys, a lot of you guys love it too. Again, I think they have this in multiple colors, but the quality of this one was really, really nice. I sized up again. I love it. It's just one of those, I feel cool in it and I can't, I can't explain that. And then I wore this olive green button down in a video very recently and a lot of questions about that one too. It's just a super comfy, I don't think it's like the most well-made shirt in the world. There were a lot of little like threads I had to kind of cut and trim, but I really like how the detail of the sleeve, it's kind of like, I don't think ruched in this case is the right word, but it's kind of pulled up. So it just has that little bit more style, 
But again, it's a little bit looser, but it's still cute. You could tuck it in the front. You don't have to tuck it in. I don't. I just love olive green as well. So I like it well enough, but I, it's, I don't think it's going to be a shirt that's going to last you a long time. I wanted to mention it, but I wanted to mention that as well. So these Apple Watch scrunchy bands, I bought a four pack. They were very inexpensive and I've been eyeing these forever and they are very pricey versions of these out there. I will say this, they're tight. So if you have a small wrist, great. If you don't, they'll be uncomfortable. I needed to say unlocked, and so if it's moving around too much, a lot of times it'll lock itself, and then I'm like, dang it. So I really like it for that reason. I wanna see, do they have more than one size? Okay, they have small and large. So this is small, and they are tight on my wrist. So if you wanna look at mine for reference and then decide for you, it is very fitted. But yeah, I just love the different colors it comes with. The pink, by the way, it looks more pink online. In person, it's a little bit more of like a tan or a beige than it is like pink it's got a pink tint to it but it's not pink pink so just be aware of that i kind of wish it were a little more pink because it kind of just blends in with my skin tone but love these would recommend again i don't think they're gonna last forever but at that price point i can enjoy them for a year or two switch out the colors as i want and i think that's that's a fair price for it. Okay, these Lululemon dupes, I'm just gonna quickly touch on. They're the closest dupe I've found to my, I'm wearing some Lululemon aligns right now. Those are my favorite, but they're expensive. And so it's nice to be able to save some money. So I bought these again. I'd had them in a different color, but I bought them in black. Cause I was like, I wanna, I need more black leggings. That's like all I'm wearing right now. And so I bought them and they really are so good. And they're so, so similar, but the material is ever so slightly different and there's something about it that it will roll down when I'm wearing it. If I'm doing a lot of movement or even like trying to work out in them, and I remember this, I haven't worked out in these yet, but in the other colors that I had, they would always roll down a little bit. So that's just something to keep in mind. So in that case, I don't think they're a perfect dupe, but they're awfully close. If you're just wearing it like to wear out, I would say give them a try because they really are nice for that. I don't know what Lululemon has done with the, the material of these that they just don't roll down no matter what you do. It It's insane. These shoelace locks. If you're someone that you're tired of freaking tying your shoe, like if, especially, don't you feel like some laces just untie themselves no matter what you do? You could double, triple knot them. They somehow you look down and they're untied again. These are amazing. You take your shoelaces out and these replace them so you lace it like normal but then there it gives you instructions but basically they lock into place so you can still tighten and loosen them but you don't ever have to tie them a lot of times especially like on my running shoes I'll put these on there and get them sized just right and get them the right tightness and they'll stay that way for a month of running and then I'll like retighten or loosen as I see fit it's amazing and then you're not worried about them flopping around a but b untying themselves and they have a lot of different colors so like I got a light pink to match my light pink shoes my husband has black ones to match his black shoes and then these camisoles are from the brand Nikki Bicky I'm wearing one right now they are the stretchiest things ever they have every color under the sun and I love them I wore them pregnant I've worn them not pregnant they're not a pregnancy shirt but I just that's how stretchy they are and I love that they stay in place so if I'm wearing it underneath something it's not rolling up in the back or anything they really do stay they're the best camisole I think I've found I did mention in another video when I brought them up, I think it was like a monthly favorites and fails video that if you wash it with something that has Velcro, it's going to snag all over it. And so I have one of them that I don't even know what in the world I had in there that had Velcro, but it snagged that shirt all up. So just be aware of that. Maybe put the camisole in a mesh bag if you're washing it with something with Velcro or just don't wash it with something Velcro. All right, let's move on to the home and kitchen category. This is my favorite. <laughs> so we just recently finally bought taco holders man oh man and i love these ones we bought from amazon it was a four pack we eat tacos like everyone probably once a week <laughs> no probably like a couple times a month for sure and we would just let them flop around on our plate like morons <laughs> so we finally invested in taco holders and it is so amazing so you can of course put like hard shell tacos on it or you can put soft shell which is what we use and it's just so great and they clean really easily and they serve the purpose we need and it's really nice to just not have our tacos flopping around and the reason we never wanted to buy them is because i was like it's such a unitasker like are we really going to use them we kind of hit the realization the other day i'm like you know we eat tacos enough we actually will use these <laughs> okay i don't know if this i guess this would fall under like the home category i didn't really know where to categorize this one these are my favorite pens they're a new discovery and if you are someone like me i like fat 
writing. Like when I write, I want it to be like thick and juicy and like smooth. I'm very picky about pens, okay? Like weirdly picky. Because some people like like the wet, like Sharpie type pens. I actually don't like those. Those are too scratchy to me. I want it to be like, I can't explain it. You'd have to try these pens to know what I mean. But these are them, man. It's the, what are they actually called? The Atlantis, but you gotta get the bold. It's 1.6 millimeters. I freaking love them. I have some black ones, some blue ones. I have some at the workspace. I have some here. I am a snob and these are the bomb. And I just had to mention them because they're so good. I wish they sold rainbow colors of this exact kind. I haven't found that yet. I've even looked in store too and I can't find them. Honestly, this pen is kind of weirdly hard to find in store I found. So that's why I bought them on Amazon. So good. This is the drink we drink at the end of the night, pretty much every night. And it's called, the brand is Calm and we like the raspberry lemon flavor. We drink it hot, you can drink it cold. First of all, it's just very warming, but it calms you down, like gets you ready for sleep but it's, it's a magnesium supplement. So you kind of want to take it slow when you first start drinking it. Cause it can, if you drink too much too fast, it can cause stomach upset and just make you feel nauseous for 10 or 15 minutes. That's happened maybe once or twice until I realized like, Oh, I just need less. So just start small. It even says that on the instructions. I love it too, because I suffered so much from restless leg syndrome when I would lay down and I would just have achy calves and all that. Ever since we started drinking this every night, it's just gone away, totally gone away. And the craziest part is I drank it during pregnancy as well. And I was starting to get really bad restless legs and I realized I wasn't drinking it. Long story short, I needed to ask my doctor if I could and she said, yes, you can. So once I started re-drinking it again, that's redundant. The restless legs went away, baby. It, it's so wild, like it really does work. So I love that stuff. I talk about it a weird amount because I really think it makes a difference. So big fan of that. You can also get unflavored. I don't know if people have added it to like other drinks or not. I feel like you maybe could, I don't know, but we just get the raspberry lemon flavor, drink it as it is, and it is awesome. Okay, new cookbook. I am one of those old school people that uses a cookbook. This one is called Everyday Dinners, and I kind of bought it on a whim on Amazon because I, I saw it in store, I want to say it like Target or somewhere, and it caught my eye because anything that is a cookbook of dinners that are quick and easy and with mostly ingredients you most likely have on hand, that I'm all about it. and. So this one has been great. I've made quite a few recipes from it. Our favorite is a puff pastry pizza. <laughs> it is so good. The one I like, there are a couple different versions of it in there. The one I like has like zucchini and you put honey on. It's y'all, it's so good. But it's also springboarded ideas for me of just like meals I can make on my own. Like, okay, I could take the puff pastry pizza idea and just use puff pastry, but then just use pizza sauce and like regular toppings and do it that way. It's just, a lot of unique ideas, but they're still really easy. My biggest pet peeve is when I get a cookbook that I'm like, oh my gosh, these recipes are amazing and the reviews are so good, but they're so difficult to make or they're super time consuming. I'm like, I don't have that kind of time. So that's why I've really enjoyed this book. I just feel like the recipes are really different than a lot of other cookbooks I have of quick dinner recipes. All right, we bought these drawer separators for my daughter's room and they are so amazing. We've used them now in both daughter's rooms. They're so great because they'll stretch to fit in basically any drawer. So what I'll do is I can separate like her different types of pajamas or her socks from her headbands, whatever it might be. That was a weird example, but you can stretch them to fit. You can put multiple in a drawer if you want. It just keeps things really clean looking and I love that it can fit multiple sizes. So I'm not worried about measuring it and ordering the exact right size for a separator. It has been incredible. They're so good, you guys. I didn't even know this kind of thing existed until this year, and I think that's why I'm so excited about them. But yeah, especially if you're tired of buying, like I was buying all these bins for the drawers, and I, I like bins for smaller things, obviously, but for larger things like keeping her pants separate from her shorts, whatever. It has been so perfect. We've used it in our nursery as well to separate some things like separating burp cloths from blankets. It's just an amazing, simple tool that it has just like transformed our drawer life, you know? <laughs> I haven't used them in my own drawers and I, I probably really should. I don't know how I've never thought about it. I've just kept my drawers the same way for so long that it's not even on my mind to like 
edit them, you know, <laughs> but maybe even in my nightstand, I feel like I could use a little organization there. So next up are these nonstick baking pans. It's the Nordic Ware brand, which is a brand we just like. These are nonstick. Obviously nonstick has been around forever and it's gotten a lot better than it was like when I was younger, you know, but these nonstick baking pans are incredible. They are really nonstick y'all like for real, for real. And we've used baking pans just from the Nordic Wear brand, but the ones that weren't nonstick and they're amazing. They last forever, but you know, you spray and then blah, blah, blah. With this, you don't even need to spray them. Everything just comes right off. They clean super easily. We only have like one of the smaller ones and one of the bigger ones. I want to get one more of each because we cook a lot of separate things at a time. And so it'd be nice to be able to use all nonstick because I'm still using our old ones too. They're just so nice, you guys. It's it's made everything so much easier. So big fan of those. I wanted to mention them. <laughs> Makes me think of this baking pan. I wonder if my mom still has it. Boy, she had this one baking pan that was so warped and black at this point and no way she still has that one. <laughs> That was my entire childhood. That was the baking pan, man. Hey, it served us well. Quick mention, I think this is a repeat from the one I did last time in December. These organizers for your foil, your plastic wrap, etc., parchment paper, are amazing. I love them so much. I know so many of you guys have bought them since I mentioned them. I just feel like that drawer looks so much cleaner. It's easier to use. I can see what I have but it doesn't look so, you know, just cluttered. I love them. And on that same vein, the Ziploc organizers, the ones we have are not in stock. They're, they've been unavailable for a while. So I'm gonna link a different one that's the same thing. There are a thousand versions of the same thing on Amazon of this, but I love them because again, same exact thing. You can put them in there and it just looks a little bit cleaner. We don't use Ziplocs a crazy amount. We try to use like reusable ones but we still use them for certain things that are just so messy. It's not worth, you know, but uh, yeah, I love it. And our drawer looks so bougie and nice. I love it. All right, this last category is for like kids and baby. I just have a couple things. I know some of you guys are gonna bow out because you're not interested. So if you are, love you, bye. For everyone else staying through these last few items, these little ice packs are so freaking cute. My daughter loves them. And anytime she gets a little boo-boo, usually it's not really even a boo-boo, but you know, she's like, I need an ice pack. And we're like, I got you girl so we give it to her and it instantly makes her feel better and they're so cute and what's nice is on one side you can get the direct cold you know what I mean but on the other side because it does have that cloth part around it it's a little less cold I feel like when she was a little younger she'd be freaked out by something super cold so we could just use the other side they're amazing we just keep them in our freezer and it's nice to have multiples because they do lose their cold kind of quickly like any ice pack like that does so it's nice to be able to just swap it out because we have more than one and they're just adorable. We had one other version that was a butterfly and we just got out of the store. It was a little bit different, but it was called her Boo Boo Butterfly. I think we still have it, but that's why I started looking for more because that one would lose its, its I keep saying it's cold. Why, why what, what's the better way to say that? Loses its coldness? Cause you'd say if it loses its heat. Anyway, regardless, those are amazing. This little doodle book is so amazing. I can't even explain to you what in the heck these markers and the in the book is. It's made of weird stuff that I've never experienced. The markers look kind of neon on this black background and we've used it for road trips and she loves it. Absolutely loves it. There's different colors, just pink, blue, etc. It comes with the markers you need and like I think a little pouch to hold it that's attached to it. Very, very travel friendly for a plane ride, road trip, just at a restaurant and trying to keep them busy, you know? It's a great thing to just keep in your diaper bag. I can't say it's mess free because it's still a marker that would mark on other stuff, but it's just so cool. And then just, you can wipe it off or if it kind of dries on there a bit, I'll get a little water and wipe it. But it's just an amazing product that I feel like I've never heard. I've watched a lot of videos of like Amazon recommendations for kids, especially travel related. And I don't think I've seen anyone mention these and they're incredible. <laughs> okay, this glow in the dark blanket we got for my niece and it was such a hit. <laughs> <laughs> like all of the kids were like losing their minds over it and it was not that expensive and I kind of just bought it on a whim but it's this glow in the dark blanket it, it is very very soft and they have different versions of it and it's really cute but it really does pieces of it glow in the dark so they were taking it in the bathroom and looking at it and it really is pretty cute so if you need a gift idea for your own kid or for someone else's kid like I said it was a hit and it was a lot of different ages that were excited about it. So just wanted to mention it here. 
We don't even have one in our house because the last thing Genevieve or Felicity needs is another blanket, but those are cool. Our favorite baby carrier. I am gonna work on a separate in the future newborn must-haves type video because I have a lot to say, but I wanted to mention just a couple standouts that I did in fact buy on Amazon. One of them is our favorite baby carrier. It's the Ergo Baby Embrace. We've tried four different carriers over the years with Genevieve and now with Felicity and this one's the best and my husband's like this is the best one like it's incredible because it's the perfect hybrid between one of those complicated wraps that's super soft and one of those super structured ones it's it's literally right in between it is so easy you just snap it on the middle and then you snap the two sides that's it not snap but like you know the little connection things i don't know what those are called she loves it she just sleeps on us and it's comfortable it's comfortable to wear a long time we were out and about for mother's day and we were wearing her all day long and it's so comfortable i just i can't say enough good things about it it's got a lot of different colors there's like pink there's cream there's black there's gray it's a good one y'all felicity's favorite swaddle we okay we have the snoo. We really don't use the snoo. <laughs> she sleeps in it, but we're using it like a regular bassinet. We've used it. it this is the story. I'm not going to get into it here because I'll, I could talk about this for a while. I'll talk about that maybe in the newborn must-haves video, but I think we will start to use it. She's still very small, so I think we're going to start to use it a little bit more at night. She just is sleeping well enough, and this is weird because Genevieve was a terrible sleeper. She's sleeping well enough at night that I'm like, I don't want to mess with it. Like, she's sleeping well. So her favorite swaddle, though, and I think part of the reason she's sleeping so well is the Halo sleep sack, the one that has the Velcro parts that go over. And what's funny is this was Genevieve's favorite, too. We have, like, five brands of swaddles. This was Genevieve's favorite. This is Felicity's favorite. I don't know what it is about it. Now, she can still escape her arms up. I don't really care if it makes her happy to have one arm up to like self soothe, who cares, but she's still getting that kind of compression and comfort that keeps her from startling herself awake, but then she's still able to self soothe. You know what I mean? So I wanted to mention it because if you're someone that's in the throes of newborn sleephood, give that one a try. It might surprise you. Your baby might not like it. I mean, all these swaddles are expensive. This one is no different. They're still like $25 a piece. Now, some swaddles are way more expensive than that, but we love it and both of the girls have loved it. Okay, last baby thing, baby shoes that actually stay on. I got on Amazon these Zutano brand. Again, a little pricey, but you only need one pair. They stay on. They stay on, period because there's two different snaps. And so we have a very small baby. She kicks off everything else in two seconds, but these don't move. So I wanted to mention it because if you're going out and about, it's nice to have something on there. And if, especially if it's cold, you could put a sock on and then put these on over it. And so then it's gonna keep the socks on, keep their feetsies warm. But you also like, it's summertime here right now when I'm filming this, I can just put the baby shoes on and they stay. They stay, you guys, they stay. It's amazing. So I want to mention it's worth the price. Like I said, you don't need a bunch of, of pairs. I think you just need one per size, but they're amazing and they have lots of different colors. So two thumbs up. I think that is everything. Like I said, if you want to shop my favorites, I have all of these linked below in the order that I mentioned them, but I also have my Amazon storefront link, which is that one single link that'll take you to all of the different categories and all of the favorites we've loved over the past few years in the different categories. So definitely check that out. Again, if you do use any of the links that I'm mentioning, it does support my channel. I get a small commission if you buy something. So thank you ahead of time if you do use them. If you don't wanna use them, no pressure, you know. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you are enjoying Amazon favorites videos from me, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you'd wanna see them again maybe in a couple months. I'd love to do it. And yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, bye.